headlines tell a harrowing story of a world gone mad. As I read these headlines, I sometimes wonder how many people recall another astounding era in our recent history, ushered in by a similar period of world madness. It was a dangerous, lawless, high-tension era that will grow more and more incredible with each passing year, until someday people will say it never could have happened at all. At the time, I was writing a column for a New York newspaper, so I covered the most fantastic episode in American history, the Roaring Twenties. Now, those amazing days are recreated for you in Warner Brothers' vivid picturization of that dynamic period. In 1920, Prohibition arrived, and a country just recovering from the war jitters fell into a new delirium. The bootlegger sprang into being. Overnight, he switched the nation's mind from battles to bottles. An evasion of the law became the new national pastime. College students, yes, even high school kids and flappers, joined the mad party, and the jazz age was born. Suddenly, frenzy reached Wall Street, and the stock market whirled to dizzy heights. Millionaires bloomed at every stage door. The nightclubs were packed with delirious, free-spending thrill hunters. Money poured into the coffers of the underworld to be fought over and stained with blood. Hijacking on the high seas became daily front-page news. Against this seething background, Warner Brothers cast electrifying James Cagney as a reckless leader of gangland. Priscilla Lane as the nightclub singer whose destiny he controls. Humphrey Bogart as Cagney's ruthless lieutenant. Gladys George as a famous queen of the hotspots. Jeffrey Lynn as the cover-up man. But not good, I'll wag it good and ready. That friendship stuff don't mean to think to me. This guy's got enough on us to... You won't talk. He better not. You don't like the racket I'm in, you don't like the people I know, the things I do, and it's not me, it's what I stand for, am I right? But I'm not gonna let that stand between you and me. I want the Brooklyn Bridge, all you gotta do is ask for it. If I can't buy it, I'll steal it. I say, what's this kid got on you? Oh, I don't know. Whatever it takes to get a guy like me, she's got... You're that out of your league, Buster. You're used to traveling around with... dames like me. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make you me... You two guys think you're pretty cute. Now, you listen to me. You tipped off the feds I was running in a load last night, and they took it away from me. And you lifted it from them. You're talking through your hat. Makes a lot of noise when you eat spaghetti, too. You're cute. But not cute enough. 